record? Yeah, literally just hit record. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, today was PlayStation Experience, and I think we all came our pants. Yeah. At that, one point title, or another. But yeah, the title is actually Sony made a splooge. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I said we just come a little in our yeah, pants. It's like, the most accurate title I think we could pick. Yeah, but just in all the things they, they announced, like, here it was... For uh, let's see, I have a list of it. So number one, what was the new Uncharted spinoff series? Just like I knew it was Uncharted until well, at first I was like, what? What is this? Until they started fighting, I was like, oh, this is this is Lost Charted. Command, uh, this is Lost Chart. This is uh, Uncharted, and I'm just like, but they finished. Then they showed. I was like, oh, okay, spinoff series. Oh, okay. And then Naughty Dog said, okay, this is why we ended Uncharted. It's because we're doing Last of Us Part 2. I see they're going the grandfather route when it comes to, like, sequels. Yeah, and it, they didn't really, it was like, it was like, it's not The Last of Us 2, it's Part 2, which is, like, it's something that you want. It's like, that type of game, like, this is not, like, a sequel, this is, like, this is a real sequel, almost, like, this is, doesn't take it maybe, like, a couple years after, but still. A Part 2, it's, um... It's, I think it's just a proper name for it. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like when like Harry Potter split up the two. Was like, this is like not Harry Potter. Like, this is part two. Yeah, this is time, finishing it up. I don't know. Like something in me doesn't feel like a sequel to Last of Us was necessary. Well, they said. Then again, I've never played it, so I can't tell you. Yeah, I never played it too, so. And uh, I really want to. The version like, is on my Christmas list, so maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The next thing uh, was was D the Disney Ri uh, Rise of Iron, which is just new content for it. Yeah, it, it's uh, just more shit. More, more, more shit that I never played. I haven't even started playing. Uh, I know friends I know, that still play it today. today. I still have a couple friends that I have a couple friends at school that plays it today. Uh, that still play it today. I was like, Jake, yeah. please get it so you can Destiny, raid with us. Destiny is basically the monster hunter of first-person shooters. There are there is a lot of people who love it, and then there is a lot of people who have no idea why those people love it. Yeah, you know what? That's like the perfect saying for that. I was like, yeah, I was like, we understand why you love it, but not really. Exactly. Like, I have no idea why people, like, I can see sort of the appeal of Monster Hunter, but it's never been my kind of game. No, and like, let's see. I kind of oh, yeah. look at Monster Hunter the same way a lot of people look at, like, Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, I, Dynasty Warriors was like, I, I can see the appeal of this, but not really. Like, it's not I'm my not type, this, it's not I, my type I, of I game. I say it's the same thing every game. It's the same thing every level. Yeah, it's it's kind of like yeah, it's very uh, it repeats itself a lot, and yeah, in fact, I just I just don't Dynasty like that Warrior, factor. Dynasty Warriors had to give itself a Zelda skin in order to in order for people to care again. Yeah, at that point, I'm just like it's kind of like when uh yeah they lost uh, the plot. It's just not that. It's kind of like when uh was it uh was something Quest. Had him like a Mario skin or something like that, or a Pokemon skin, to get the peel back. Uh, what, what what was it? Uh, it was I, like Dragon Quest something. I think it was Dragon Quest or something like that. It, it, it was probably Monster Hunter. It was probably Monster Hunter. All right, because I remember some game that had like a I know Pokemon. Monster Hunter skin does a lot of Nintendo skins now. I'm just like I'm just like okay, whatever. Okay, then Marvel versus Capcom Four. Oh my God. I, I only... honestly thought they were going to put a 4 in front of that. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, it's, uh, uh, other than the name, it looks pretty cool. Infinite. Hopefully they don't Inf do it what they did with the Street Fighter V. As make it everything slow? No, as in I'm... completely remove half of the game when it comes out. Uh, hopefully they like, don't... Did you hear about what happened when Street Fighter V launched? No, I don't... Actually, I didn't really pay attention to it much. Like, I forgot what they got rid of, but I remember that when it first launched, they... the Either the multiplayer or the single player was not actually in the game. 
And they actually had to patch the other. They actually had to patch the other mode in. That's right. It was the multiplayer. It was the multiplayer. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, like, sorry if I'm getting all these details wrong. This was almost a year ago. I I, I was pretty sure that the multiplayer didn't work, and they had to like just redo it all. Yeah, like the Steam reviews were just. Just incredible. Through, like, just like through the ground. It was uh, uh. Let's see what what else. Uh, actually, then there was like because of Fox didn't or didn't release like all their content of. Uh, we want to put this in the game. I guess there's no X Men or, or any no X Men. No uh, what was the other one that they have? Uh, shit. Uh, uh Fantastic Four. No. The Fantastic Four. What was the uh, what was the movie they made this year that was complete utter shit? Uh, I can't remember. But the only other has a, Fantastic uh, Four was last year. Yeah, last year. Th- that's yeah. Deadpool, that was it. The, the awesome movie from Fox, Deadpool, that came out this year. Yeah, and they and I think they said they're not gonna. It's not gonna be in Marvel versus Capcom. And I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. You're saying the best character ever as to play for a video game is not in this? Well, he got his own game, and... Okay, that's true, but still, just it's kind of like... That's, that's, a pretty bit of, that's a pretty big middle finger. Yeah, it, it really is. I, I could be wrong. I could have given my facts wrong, but that's what I read. All right, let's see. The next part would probably be Mac 2. I'm just like, I haven't played the first one yet. Why? So. Why would they make a second one? Nope. But the first one, nobody even really liked the first one. It. What happened was that Mac came out, everyone, everyone, almost like half the people who got a PS4 played it, and everyone was like, eh. And apparently that was enough for them to make a sequel. That's usually Matt is the perfect reason to make a sequel. But I guess not because they put in co-op, everyone's like, ooh, co-op. Like, like how hipster, like, look, co-op, please buy our game. I, I was, I was kind of like that, I was like, okay, whatever, but I, I'm still probably going to buy the first one one day, maybe, because I like the developer behind it. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow the. I'll let you borrow Knack if you want to do a recording of it. Yeah, sure. I actually, I was actually That's coming up with a plan um, for uh, fixing my uh, pro- with my uh, capture card. Yeah. Of uh, yeah, just so buying a new one and then just yeah, I'll let you borrow it. my copy because I literally have not played it since I got it. Yeah, I think that I think that just the I don't know if it's actually a sequel to it, but I think they just call it two so you can play with two players. I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna change the name later on. I'm pretty sure. I I have no. Idea. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty sure. Like, I, that was probably the moment when I'm like, what? Why? Like, this does not need to exist. But they made it exist. Like, here's the thing, Knack wasn't a bad game, but it also wasn't a good one. It was really middling. It was... Oh, uh, but uh, I had, I had so much promise. I had so much promise, too. That was the, that was the sad part. Well, well, the guy was like, was oh, look who's behind... He pitched it as, like, this go back to, like, these really colorful, colorful cartoony type games, like Ratchet and Clank and Crash Bandicoot. And in the end, it just came across... The guy who came up with Ratchet and Clank was behind this project, too. He came up with this project. Yeah, and instead, it co- and instead it comes across as superficial. It, you only get, like, the surface elements of that, but you don't get what made those games great. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was very sad. It was very... I, yeah, it was, and it was, the mechanics were really confusing, too. All right, yeah, I was just like, come, come on, guys, I know you're better than this. And uh, I guess they just, I'm just 
Bet you this just could be a new game. It's, but it's who know? Okay, never mind. Who knows if uh, it's no. going to be? The, what's really going to happen? The with this only game. thing I can think of is that they, Mark Cerny said, "Hey, you know what? I know we fucked up with Knack, but maybe we can go back to the drawing board. Maybe that was the reasoning behind this, but I don't know." But then, then you, but but the selling point of this one was co-op. Because every single screenshot had two people in it. I don't, I don't know. They're going to have to find a way to sell this. Let's see later on. All right, let's see. The next part was the saying, this is this game is officially happening. It's coming out next week. So please be hyped for it. <laughs> and a lot of people are, which would be The Last Guardian. Uh, I, I'm probably the only person not excited for it. Are, are you scared about it? No, or, no or... It, it's just that I've actually... I've, I've never actually been that big of a fan of, like, Team Ico. It's not that I hate the games, it's just that they've never been for me. My brother, my brother, when he, when he first saw Team Ico, which was Shadow of the Colossus, he was like, he saw uh, Jacksepticeye play it. And he's like, wow. He was just a, just a jaw-dropping of just wow moment for him. So he went out and bought the game, and I think I think he just beat it recently. It took him, it, it takes him a long God time. Colossus, but the thing about Team Ico is I think they take realism a bit too far. And is that a minus, really? Well, when I mean real, and by that I mean like there, are, like you know how when you hold on to something and you can't hold on forever, like yeah. it feels like you're playing as, like it doesn't feel like you're, like it feels like you're playing a really weak per, uh, hero. And I just I kind of like that factor of it. I was just of a normal boy who. For spoilers, people that don't know the, uh, well, that I don't know, it, so so, okay, so, but you know the general, the general behind it, yeah, of the, you have to defeat all these monsters so you can save your girl to get your bitch back, yeah. And for that, I was like, I just kind of like the factor of you're just a normal boy who wants to do this for you for your girl and. I, I just kind of like that factor of you you have to come up with the impossible and for you to defeat the impossible. I thought that was just a really cool concept. But I'm not but I'm you know I'm not your typical person. So Yeah, you're the type of person who would rather watch a video game than play it. Yep. Love those cutscenes. They make me splooge. Yeah, that's why you love Mayor Deal. <laughs> oh, the, the, those cutscenes are the best. They're just so orgasmic, man. They just like, wow. This oh. is on my screen. Okay, what's next on the list? Uh, let's see. There's the you cut. Um, what was it? Uh, you uh, you cut well. Six and the key. Yeah, the six and the key Kimia, something like that. It's uh, there's two you come out. Uh, I can't say it today. I had it earlier today. But I know what it is. Basically, it's this. Basically, the best way to describe it is Japanese. It's Japan's version of Grand Theft Auto, essentially. I know, and it is beautiful. I really want to play it. I and I never played one before. So, are, so what are they doing? Are they bringing it over here then? Yeah, they're bringing both six, and they're bringing both six and the uh, 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 Kiwami. Kiwami, I guess that's how you pronounce oh, it. Oh, good. Over to over to uh, America. Nice. And they they've been they've been doing this. It's called it's called building the list. And what they do is they ask people, "What games do you want to bring over to the U.S.?" And the ones with the most votes 
votes get it. And they've been doing this for the last three years, actually. The last, the last, uh, like, the last pretty much three years of it, of a PlayStation, a PlayStation experience. Uh, then, uh, let's see, then there was the announcement of uh, uh, the PS2 classics would be Papa the Rapper. Uh, let's see, what was it? No, th- that the was other the one. remake of Rapper. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the remakes. Uh, pr- pretty, mu- pretty much just remastering. And of just... it looks exactly the same. Just with better graphics. Yeah. That's it. It has less shaggies. That's about it. Yeah, it's which a lot of people were very excited about. But then again, it was like, but it doesn't compare to Crash Bandicoot. Like seriously. Yeah. That one, I sh- I I love it how they showed it of old versus new. I'm just like, God damn, they didn't hold it. They didn't hold back any punches. I will say this: the original Crash Bandicoot is the only. One out of the original PlayStation games that, that I want that I'm not a big fan of, mostly because it hasn't aged well. Maybe this new one will change my mind. Well, it's all three of them, so. Well, and they've only shown footage of the first one, I think. Yeah, that was the weird part of the game. This is they're just showing all the footage from the first one, but it says right there on the screen, their trilogy. Yeah. So, so hopefully what are they going with? Hopefully this? they'll show them off later. I really want to see what they do with two and three. Yeah, that one's good. That just just from the jump from one from here is impressive because that's the only one, like you said, that didn't age well. Yeah. Uh, then they had uh, then they announced the other two. Where it was was it like Pat Pat and No Pat and No? Can't pa- pronounce that. Pat and Pod or Papaton. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah, and uh, uh, local the, Rico. Yeah, those are actually PSP games that I think they're bringing over to the PS4. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people are very excited about that one. Yeah, people well, like you just... to play them now. <laughs> well, they actually announced a, quite a few games for the PS Vita, which was something. Speaking of which, speaking of the, speaking of which, the Wipeout collection for. The I was actually just I, yeah I was about to just say but I was about to say that one because it's also in 4K. Well, the 4K the, thing uh, isn't as much doesn't mind me as much, but the thing is Wipeout HD and 2040 are actually my favorite Wipeout games and they're also the most recent, and I'm actually really glad they're bringing those to the PS. <coughs> yeah, like it's like it was like one of those type of things. I'm just like. I'm watching. I'm re- I'm watching this. I'm hearing all the screams in the background. I'm just like, I have no idea what this is. It looks like, it looks like a lot of fun, but I have I have no idea what this yeah, is. Yeah, Wipeout is hella fun, dude. It's it's kind of like PlayStation's version of F Zero. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute, this is a Nintendo exclusive. This is F Zero. <laughs> then they showed it Wipeout. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, Wipeout wasn't really uh didn't really have a lot of show on the PlayStation Two, which was your generation, which is probably why you never heard of it. Yeah, it it was on the PS One. It was a big thing on the PS One and the PSP. Uh, there. Wipeout which I did have a PSP, but PS3. I didn't play much on my PSP. Uh, and then twenty forty eight was on the Vita, and I already claim I already called dibs on Wipeout. Yeah. the Wipeout collection. Because I actually want to cover that for Neon Cabaret. Alright, let's see. They also have the uh, Nier, which I really want to play. I want to play it's, that too. That looks it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty much just, it's just kind of like, it's, it's going to be Final Fantasy XV, but with guns. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just, just with guns because gun because I remember watching. Uh, I remember I saw I stopped. I was sitting pretty close with the game when it first was announced, and I'm just like, and they showed a big thing over in uh, like in Japan, a big exclusive on it. I'm just like, holy crap! You have your old arsenal, just like Final Fantasy 15, both guns. So I hope Adam Kovic comes out and is like, "This is final, like Final Fantasy hey, 15, both guns." Hey, hey, Jake, guess what? What? It come, it's coming out in a couple months. A near? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I was. Re- yeah, it's like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, let's see. Then they showed a little, actually, a, a bit more on with the storyline for uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm just like, now I'm really getting into it. Like, when they said, when I was like, you will know the truth of what actually happened. I'm just like, yes. Story. I, me, I can't really judge a game until I have a controller in my hands. Hold on one second. Yeah. So. You're kind of loud. All right. Love you. Uh, and that was my mom. Call out by his mom. Yes, I was talking too loud. Because I'm a because I'm a lot because I'm a loud mouth. Then uh, uh, ni uh, ni no ku uh, uh was it kuni two? Uh, I'm, more of a story driven game. It's a JRPG that the original was actually made in collaboration with Studio Ghibli. Yeah, and I, I was like, I was like, when I was watching, I was like, I had that very stupid Studio Ghibli type of it, feel it to it. It probably is Studio Ghibli then. Is this the way the the characters were like the way they looked? It lo- it looked like uh, what was it? A prince? Uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, princess one? The uh, how to do with the forest and don't fuck with Mother Nature? My, it was my friend's actually favorite Studio Ghibli film, and it's like his most violent. Princess Mononoke. Yeah, that's it. I had a lot of people look like that. Like that Princess Mononoke feel. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, the, the next one was be Gravity Rush t- Two. It's the deal DLC for it. Yeah, you play with a Raven. Oh wow, cool. And I, I thought you would be all over like Wire and Rice because I know how much you love Gravity Rush. Well, I love the first one. I haven't heard too much of the second one yet. Yeah, the second one came out a while back. No, second one comes out next month. Next month? All right. Yeah, it was because the because the, because, because they were announced, out, but then they delayed it to next year. And yeah, so the, so they talked about it today. I was like, I know a lot of people a lot of people liked it, and so we're mm-hmm. adding DLC to it. Hey, everybody. Hey. Oh, wow, line. Thanks for finally showing up, man. Sorry. Um, you know what? Because there was no Sly Cooper today, I will I will forgive you for that. Yay! Yay! <laughs> How you doing, Lion? Good, just working and saw the PS experience. It was awesome. Yes. So yeah, uh, so what was your favorite thing so far? We put, oh. almost talked about everything. We have only have like a couple more things to talk about. Let's see. Uh, the Uncharted DLC, The Last of Us. Well, well it's not. Well, it's not Uncharted DLC. It's a whole new game. No, it's, uh, well, it's a standalone game. It's, it's, it's the same as Left Behind from Last of Us. There we go. Yeah, pr- yeah. Yes. So there's that. What else is there? Uh, no, no, no. Don't leave us behind. There's nothing for The Last of Us. It's not even in the exact same world. Yeah. And they, don't even, and they don't even declare themselves as zombies either. They call them uh, crawlers or something like that. Yeah, crickers. Yeah, that's it. And they reveal and they reveal the team of the game. We made interviews today. And it's gonna be about hate. Hate? I don't know what though. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Um let's see. So what do you think about the Lost Guardian that the kind of released of uh, this is coming out next month, so please be excited. We Coming on this month. No, I'm, I'm just giving him the rundown of so far what we talked about. Out tomorrow. <laughs> it comes out tomorrow. It's coming out soon, guys. Spent like a decade in development. It's coming out tomorrow. Please care. Please care. Uh, let's see. There were lots of part of the both the Kuza games. Uh, I can finally say it. Nat, Marvel, Destiny. Marvel, baby. Um, so the next thing we're actually going to be talking about was uh, uh, the uh, Laura, uh, the Laura Croft go. I'm just like, do we do we actually need this? Do we? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, because I remember Hitman Go was not a full success, but it was popular at one point, I think. 
And I, I, that was like, I was like, I was like, that was another game that was not for Vita. I'm just like, okay. Okay. Okay, I want to point something out. All the games announced for Vita are also playable on the PlayStation 4. Yeah. yeah. So, what is the point? The point the is that now you can take your games on the go. Uh, some of them are cross-save, so that's something. But the, I, was so, I forgot what the guy's name is, but he was so excited for it. I don't play it. There's some games that are suitable for the Vita and not for the consoles. I mean, yeah, some... I th- it's got to go to the point of where it's got to be. Yeah, look, look, guys, guys, uh, we promise there's games coming out with the Vita. Please buy it. Uh, you know that. But, it was like a, but it's still like a day later, dollar short. So you know that the Vita started trending on Twitter when they, you know, that happened. Oh, yeah, of course it did, because everything trends on Twitter. Even Kim Kardashian can get, get uh, to, uh, on, on on Twitter, man. It's nothing that new. But uh, let's see. And then then they talked about baseball because you know sports. Sports. Which I'm not a big sports fan, but I'm just like this game looks like a lot of fun. Jake, what are you talking about? All you talk about are the Patriots. It's football. Yeah, because that's football. Because football's entertaining. You know what the you know what the nickname for baseball is? America's pastime. It's you know what people like. You know what cricket is. Do, you ever do heard? You know what pastime means, don't you? Yes, I know what pastime means. But you ever heard of cricket? Yes. You know how long a, a cricket game lasts. It's probably longer than your attention span. Five days. Five to seven days. You know what the nickname for that type... You know what the nickname for cricket is? Britain's pastime? No. The drinking game. Because you say to your wife, Oh, I'm going to the bar to watch the cricket game. (laughs) And that's what you do. Just go to the bar and drink and barely watch the game. (laughs) So you can go to the bars for five days to seven days straight without your wife getting mad at you. But it's it's kind of funny. The, the, there was a British guy that talked about it too. <laughs> Just like, no, I was like, this is the only time we ever see a British guy. And his last name was like, like, how was it? I was like, oh, Oh, and it was like, uh, was, he, he made like a joke about it too. It was like his last name was like Quid, uh, Quidditch, Quidditch break or something like that. And he's like, I swear, my last my last name is not referenced to a to a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> That's like, God damn it. Okay, so apparently we went from baseball to British comedians. Yeah, oh, it's, I don't get British. Uh, I was, I was like, I swear, this is my last oxymor- name, guys. It's sort of an oxymoron. Like, yeah, but yeah, but I just don't get it. I mean, what's so funny about it? Uh, like, Jumbo like, Shrimp. Like, Jumbo Shrimp. Something that kind of crosses the ocean, like Monty Python, or I love Monty Python. Or Top Gear. I only, I only like the Holy Grail, and that's it. The other Monty Python stuff is. Okay for me. But you don't like the bright side of life, man? Uh, no, uh, like Life of Brian? I haven't seen that one. Life of Brian is pretty great. I kind of I I like, like, Bri- like Life of Brian, Brian a bit better more. Than Holy Grail. Yeah, I like it a bit more. I like the songs in it a bit more. A bit more. Uh, it's, Holy Grail has some better jokes, but Brian's life is just have better songs. remembers Holy Grail because it's absolutely ridiculous, but... Life of Brian, okay, for the people who've never heard of Life of Brian, Life of Brian revolves mostly around one joke, that basically when the wise men go to visit Jesus, they accidentally stumble upon a normal guy named Brian. And the whole move, and basically this guy named Brian is mistaken for the Messiah. (laughs) Always look on the bright side of uh, and then there's the meaning of life. Then there's the meaning of life, which is sort of Monty Python going back to their sketch comedy roots. 
But the sketches in that are great as well. I love it how we're now we're just talking about British humor. <laughs> I just don't get it sometimes. Oh, I guess Monty Python is the one that is second gay uh, what, university. What's the next game on the list, Jake? Uh, um, let's see. That's that's all they pretty much have for this list right here. I know you talked about like Mother um uh, uh Mother Russia Blood bleed. bleeds red or something like that. No, it's it's Mother, Mother Russia bleeds. bleeds. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ace Combat Seven. What they talked about for the. Uh... You mean? You mean Japanese Flight Simulator? <laughs> Ace Combat. Ace Combat Seven. Come on, that's a good series. Yeah, and was, I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. I guess if you guys don't have any more show, oh, let it die. Did I you? can't wait for that. I just I downloaded like because you got to play it for free today. What I, is uh, that uh, game, by the way? Cause it's a it's a game where you pretty much die and you have to learn from your death, but in a fun way, not like in a super hard way. Okay. You just mess up and. Have you played? You know, you know, Suda Fifty One game, right? Yeah. Yeah, same style. That's a Suda Fifty One game. Well, yeah, I know that. It's just that. What kind of game is it? Is it like a first person a... thing? Is it like? It's a it's a third person competitive shooter meal, I think. Oh. Yeah, I know playing. they have so Microsoft. Yeah, actually. what? Oh, yeah. yeah, they have some gameplay of it. Okay. Yeah, they they didn't release the they didn't uh like have it actually on uh. The imagine kind of like um. An RPG form of of uh, what was it uh, like dead like Dead Souls? Because wait a because you can wait. Dark Souls is an RPG. Yeah, kind of like but with guns, you can actually and be better at it. Like, let me uh, let me go to Steam Box. Uh, let me actually go to Generals real quick, and I'll. Um, like this is some gameplay of it. Like it's a, you can just skip. You can just like skip around to see. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, Thank you. Well, fifty one. So you know it's gonna be fun. Yeah, which it's it's gonna be especially like just the try. Just like the parts of like, oh yeah, my name is Uncle Death. It's just like a Grim Reaper wearing like these really weird glasses. Well, that's awesome. that is Suda's sense of humor. He's yeah. weird. My name, my name's Uncle Death. Just by just just for your uh, uh, knowledge. So wait, Jake, you have this? I know. Uh, I download it right now. Yeah, I actually, I just, I just posted it in the uh, general chat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want dibs on this, Jake? Yeah, I think I we'll want dibs. I don't think I'll we'll have dibs on this. Right, I'm gonna need... write you down for dibs. I also need. I also need to play the Resident Evil game. The update. Oh, for Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, the uh, yeah. I actually, I better start downloading that right now. It's a free update. Well, because also Let It Die is also a free game for. T for today. Actually, I think it's throughout this weekend. Oh yeah, there's a, the Parapa the Rapper demo. Yeah, in which I'm also downloading that too. I'm, just, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. I actually, I never played it, but I, but I played a lot of games that are, are like the exact same type of game. So I'm pretty excited for it. Oh yeah, people bitch about indie games as always. Come on. And I love, what, I love it how PlayStation like, like, responds to it. There's like, guys, the, this is the future of gaming if you like it or not. So just give it a chance. Even saying Yoshida said that. Oh, and this is said my favorite, game. Guys, guys, this is my favorite anime. I'm, I'm scared right now. Let it die. Oh, you just gonna... Let it die. Is oh, yeah. your favorite anime. <laughs> Let it die. Is that your, is that your favorite video game? No, it's my favorite no, no, anime, anime. chain. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, your favorite anime. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, yeah, they said they're gonna reveal more, more Cap Marvel. Remember, Capcom. 
Yeah, Marvel and... versus Capcom, but without Deadpool. Yeah, without Deadpool. Uh, because because you know those guys over in Fox. Well, yeah, they own the they own the IP, sadly. <laughs> No, I bet they really wanted to name the Grim Reaper Uncle, Uncle Deadly, but they would probably run into some lawsuit from Disney. <laughs> I just like that. Uh, oh yeah, Uncle Death, just for your. Oh yeah, and also uh. So Marvel's Cap Marvel's Capcom Infinite. It's uh, it's not exclusive. Oh yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to play this. Yeah, they also they also talked about uh, Marvel vs. Three, and uh, you can buy it today. It's like the ultimate edition or something like that. It will have single player content, so they don't have to, they don't so they don't wanna they don't wanna make the same mistake. That is. We literally talked about Street Fighter Five. Yeah, and they, that, that was another thing too. That was like they they came out I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, we have another character. Please buy our game. It was this year. We feature arcade. Look at that arcade. You know, what? arcade. Let me put in five. Yeah, you should be able to jump and. Uh, it was gonna have a visual stunning and immersive cinematic story mode. Yeah, right here. Uh. X Men Cat will not be able to make it the way into Infinite. So uh -oh. Wolverine, Cyclops, Deadpool. It will. It will have. It will, it's using the Unreal Engine Four. All right. Huh. But they said that other. But they said. But they uh, said that uh, they might uh, layer doubt or Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, like from the recent Marvel TV shows. Uh, yeah, there's that too. But they, but that's all under. But that all, Marvel owns all those. So, but I'm just like, come on, guys. You can literally just say this is. This, you can literally say, please watch our movie because they're in this game. You can literally say that. You can say that. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, what? What is, what, what I, don't get, I don't get the, I don't get a two versus two fighting game mode. I mean, isn't that they're even using that, or there's always it's like and they, they 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 just show the trailer to it. They didn't like say really almost anything else about it. Let's see. Let me actually. They actually were talking about other. Trailers today, or like because not you not everything they can like fit into like an hour. So there are also let's see, let me go to the PlayStation page to see what else that they posted up because they always, uh, especially in this, for this like the next two days they're gonna have non-stop videos like like probably like twenty five a day or maybe even fifty a day. They're just saying th this is also coming out. Oh yeah, Surgeon Simulator, uh, for VR. <laughs> I tried the PS4 version, but eh, could not get into it. Oh, of course my friend got, of course my friend got Marvel's Capcom, Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. Of course. Of course, why not? Of course! Uh, let's see. And Lion, guess what? Uh, of course! Of course they would. Of course! <laughs> of course! <laughs> yeah, the yeah, more so... I look at Let It Die, the more it... It looks like... Dead Souls... Anime. <laughs> Dead Souls Anime, that's a perfect way to put it. Anime I, do wonder, I, do, I do wonder how they got the uh, copyright issues so on this one. To what? Or my ultimate, 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 ultimate
Well, it was only for one more. Disney. Oh, yeah. Disney. Disney can. Disney will take any opportunity to make a buck. Like seriously. You know what? Since Disney owns Star Wars and Marvel, there may be a small chance we might see like Star Wars characters in this. I was. I wouldn't be surprised. Or any. Or this actor. That would be hilarious. I, if more than anything and you else. You know what? Marvel is actually. I think Marvel has actually started to do like Star Wars comics. So. Uh, yeah, the more, yeah, this is definitely Suda 51. Oh, yeah, that's so, cool. Suda 51 is an acquired taste. It's fucking weird, but it does make some. Awesome but, it's, but you, but you thrive. But people thrive on the weird. Yeah, especially it, in video it's games. Basically, it's like these like video games is the first place. Like if you have an idea, please share. He's like the hit. He's like what Hideo Kojima would be if he wasn't restrained by Konami. Yeah, actually. Uh, and yeah. actually, I still need to see that tra see that trailer. The uh, the new one. Is that that's a the, 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 the trailer. Uh, okay, so somebody it's on Twitter somebody actually yeah. took like the E3 trailer and the new one and they put it together. And apparently, the baby, the, and apparently, the baby evaporates into Del Toro's hand at the exact same time in both trailers. I don't get. I don't get. I still don't get the team. I mean, like, are, are, are people, are men in this world, pregnant or something? Yeah, and everyone's reaction is pretty much the same. It's pretty much. I have no idea what the fuck was that, but I want it now. Oh, another one that they they, they talked about Neo. Uh, I'm Bro. trying to. Yeah, it's it's pretty much. Here's some of. Here's some. Uh, if you want. <laughs> Wait, is this the one developed by Platinum? Uh, yes, actually, I think it is developed by oh, Platinum. Oh, near, near Automata. Yeah, oh, it's no, not by this, this one, this one by Team Ninja. Oh, cool. Platform with PlayStation 4. Have you tried, have you tried the, the demos that they oh, come? Oh, no, the, the developer is called uh, Team Ninja. Yeah, yeah. the guys who make Dead or Alive. Well, then I mean, well, yeah. And sadly, other M. Yeah, and I actually I remember seeing this now, and for some reason it's not on this uh, it's not on this list for some weird reason, but because they were, they released two demos a, month, a few months ago. I wish I would know about that so I can download them. Uh, well, yeah. you miss out because they say if you read the demo, you get exclusive DLC for the story campaign when the game comes out. I'll look it up and to see if the demo is still going on. No. No? It's no, it's over. It was, uh, it was not Why, why don't you tell me about these things? I thought, uh, I trust you, man. Hey, there is, they put it on the Twitter. Uh, hey, 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 no, no uh, talk back line. No talk back. They put it on the official. You're just disappointing to me now. Oh. Oh yeah, Marvel, 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 I need to get that when I get okay, a chance. Okay, so, is that all the games? Um, no, they're real, they're real shit ton of them. Uh, yeah, they, they talked about, let's see. What else games they got? Uncharted, there's Celeste from Tower for Creator, my torso. Oh. I know this game. Apparently we're getting Dengaroo for 3. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and that. Uh, did they also showed up like Persona Five stuff. No, the national. Persona. No, they did actually. They show Persona clips of clips of it now. They didn't show Persona. The, the best really way to talk about it. Persona, the thing about Persona is that the only people who don't really like Persona have never played it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they show Nino Kuni, too. <laughs> Uh, no more. Wait, no more here. Oh yeah, the no. Yeah, that's right. No more heroes. I'll oh, let it die. That's right. Yeah, and in the Kuni. Yay. Uh, massive. They reveal. They also reveal Dino Frontier. It's a weird one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, let's see. I'm... I think that cover was all the big ones, at least. Oh, uh, there's another one they called, uh, like, uh, Pyre. Oh, my oh, yeah. god, Pyre. How can I forget about that? That's the new game from the people who made Bastion and Transistor. Yeah, that's right. It has that Transistor feel. I was like, I know I've seen this somewhere before, but where was it? Transistor, that's right. I love Bastion. I played the fuck out of that game. Bastion, Bastion is great. I think I have dibs on that. I don't know. It's either going to be me or Radimir Hurt that plays that on the channel. Uh, there's the one called Strife. Like the computer, like the keyboard strife. Cloud, cloud strife? No. Uh, hmm. I, I, because of commercials, I have to see which one it is. So give me a couple seconds because of damn commercials. All right. That's a show. Oh, that's a show. Show Wind Jammer. That's right, Wind Jammer. I, and I, people are, and I, some people were really into that. I, people, I have people, no idea what the fuck that is. I don't know. I never played it either, but. It's a new I, I, the, the game. The game does look look a lot look like a lot of fun, actually. It's a new G. It's an old new G or K game. I don't know. Yeah, that. A lot of people oh. know about it. People. Wait, wait, people wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that there are Neo Geo games that aren't fighting games or metal yeah, slug? Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a. I mean, a lot of Neo Geo or K games were. Popular puzzle games and other stuff. They don't. They don't. They didn't make. You know how many arcade games these guys did? All of them. A lot. They, they made like a shit ton of arcade games. And keep in mind that each each one of them are you know drawn, sprite, everything. Jesus yeah, like, Christ. Oh yeah, like, oh, yeah this was like one of the big boys in. Arcade. I remember this now. When Jim was. Um, they were like up with the big boys in like the nineties. Okay, I remember this one now. I remember one jammer now. Ma okay, imagine like uh like sports. I mean literally like sports with really muscly muscly man, but in sixteen bit. It's like they have you like don't want to play that. They have frisbee like uh, like frisbee. It's just muscle weird. frisbee one. <laughs> Just, just, just watch the trailer for it. I was just like, "What the fuck am I watching throughout so, this whole entire thing?" So now I'm imagining like Duke Nukem playing like extreme frisbee. It is. It's, it's kind of like that, but like beach frisbee. And, and then the frisbee explodes. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. But that would be just as good. Uh, speaking of Duke Nukem, this this wasn't shown at the PlayStation conference, but I want to say how all the stupid shit that. Gearbox is trying to shove into the Bulletstorm remaster. Oh my god. There's probably a lot of it. It's... I, I'm gonna say this right now. Gearbox is pretty much shit. Like, I, the only good stuff they've made are Borderlands, and even there I think that was on accident. I love Borderlands. I just like the... Com I like the... I just like the... Uh, Everything else they made has Borderlands. turned to shit. I mean... You got Duke Nukem Forever. But Gearbox, but Two K also makes uh, make Borderlands, so I think that kind of saves them. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no. I, I think, think Gearbox, Gearbox actually fucked up with. So. I think I think Gearbox decided was like, oh, we don't want to do this because it's successful, and so I think Two K took. I was like, oh, Two K was like, oh, we want it, and they made Borderlands Two, which was amazing. But yeah, Gearbox. They they were uh, they were the guys behind Alien Isolation. They also did Blood, you know, not not Bloodborne, uh, Battleborn. Basically, oh yeah, Battleborn is like oh we always like oh this is like like we're trying to get our game out before uh, Overwatch. So please play our game before Overwatch. And then like, th and then literally three people played it. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, Battleborn gets a lot of bad prep, and I played okay. Battleborn. Okay, there is also this game that I can't pronounce. It's why why you origin? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's a that's a very popular RPG. Yeah, I... yeah. They also they also showed some some of that. I've never played it, but I never played it. But... It sells well because they make a lot of it. Yeah, oh, yeah, you had no idea how many of it. Uh, let's see, what else was there? 
Oh yeah, Neo, which, uh, 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 Okay, let me, let's return to Bulletstorm for a second. The, I don't know if this is just in the pretty order or if it's actually in the, or if it's on every copy, but apparently the pre-order quote-unquote benefit is that there is, like, Duke Nukem DLC for Bulletstorm. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I, I'm fucking serious. Look this up. Yeah. Actually, it's Bulletstorm, the first Bulletstorm remaster, right? Yeah, it's the Bulletstorm. You know who's gonna buy it, right? Everything, Gears, Gear, everything Gearbox touches turns to shit. You know who you're gonna buy it, right? I I hope I'm hoping that Gearbox isn't th that much shit and lets everyone who bought Bulletstorm previously have a free copy. But then again, it's hey, Gearbox, yeah. so they probably yeah. won't. No, they already said that it will not happen. They already said that. Okay, so um, Gearbox is so. Is totally shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna try to find out, find out how I. How I, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna try to figure out how I get my legal copy of Bulletstorm to work. Alright, so... Yeah, right here, the remastered, it will be launched April 7th, 2017 for PS4, or PC, and Xbox One. It's available for pre-order now. If you get pre-order, you'll get 15% off of $50. We'll bring it just down to, like, 40, $43. Or you or, can buy it now for $20. You also will get a Duke Nukem Bulletstorm uh, tour add-on for free. Or you could go on Steam and buy it for 20 bucks right now. Or, but you, Duke could Nukem. Till, or you could wait till a, you could wait till a Steam sale and wait for it to go to 5 bucks. That's even cheaper. You're forgetting about Duke Nukem. <laughs> or you could probably find it at like GameStop for like three bucks. After you trade in like fifty games for it. <laughs> uh, I think the last one we didn't talk about, which was, uh, Absolver. Which, no idea what about this game. Ah, uh, another third. All right. So, what? I think I mentioned this before, but. We're now doing sort of an award show called The Goaties. Oh, yeah. I don't think you talked to me. Uh, have, have you heard of it before, uh, Lion, or just hear about this it is, now? This is the first year we're doing it. Wait, what? We're doing this sort of fake award show thing called The Goaties. Basically, it's our little award show. Ah, uh, yeah, I said I did put the nominees, right? Yeah, there's... Uh, if you go to our Discord, and I'll put a link to this in the description of this video, there is... We're taking nominations for the 2016 Goaties. Uh, oh, they're putting in this game? What? They put in Move or Die into PlayStation. Uh, I wish everyone... I wish all of us had this. Oof. That'd be a... oh, well, basically, the... And what's gonna, and what it is is that the ballot is open until January, until December 31st, because Christmas. And everyone on the Discord and everyone on the channel is able to send a nomination, and it's going to be a popular vote thing. And whoever wins the most in each category wins. And it, sometime in January, we'll read off the winners. I uh, play much of the games, though. The only contingency is that the games you nominate have to come out this year. Oh yeah, another game that you talked about was this Vane. V A N E, which I don't know what it's about. They just kind of showed a teaser trailer for it. Kind of interesting. Apparently, accidentally. Triggered the intermission thing. Ten out of ten. And I be playing. And I be playing Final Fantasy fifteen. It's a lot. But yeah, another, the, another but yeah, there's eight. actually different categories for best single player game of the year and best multiplayer game out of the year. 
Oof. Yeah, I, I know. I know you exact the exact same reaction. It's very hard. I have play. I haven't played much of the games of this year, so it's one of the big ones I ever played. God, God damn it! I did it again. Wow. Ta ta. Ah. It's because yeah. I'm typing. It's because I don't usually type when I do these. Jesus. So, yeah, th that's very really weird for Gravity Rust 2. They <sighs> saying, oh yeah, it's coming out, but this is DLC, good for, for people who want to know already. I just find that kind of strange. Let's see. Yeah, I think yeah, that's pretty much... a video for, like, the goatees to give everyone a, a heads up. Because I doubt that people are going to be watching the end of this video and hear this. How long are we going on for? What's uh, about I, I, an hour? I, probably an hour, maybe. Oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, they talk about Persona 5 story trailer. I'm just going... I'm actually just going to... PlayStation, uh, uh, their YouTube channel because they that's where they upload everything the most and individual ones. And they play it on their PlayStation blog site. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, right now as a, for a PlayStation a fanboy. I'm the, oh this this year is always very this time of year is always very exciting. Uh, it's the Mar uh, Xbox has no competition, sadly. It's, a, it's kind of the type of thing that Xbox really needs to get onto the ship. Like, go out there and communicate with your fans. Because they only, they only do one big thing each year, which would be E3. Yeah, they do also a big yeah, thing they, for... Yeah, they totally uh, listen to the fans. That's why the PlayStation 4 doesn't have backwards compatibility, and it's and the PlayStation Pro is barely more powerful than the PlayStation 4. Well, I meant... Well, okay, okay. For the... For specs. Like PlayStation, but what about... Like PlayStation Pro can't even do, like, real 4K. It has to upscale it. There are only... There's a couple of games that can actually do native 4K. Yeah, but even if they could, the can the console can't handle that. Okay, if, okay. This project. So how much do you think how, how much project Project Scorpio is going to cost? It's probably it's probably going to it's probably going to cost a lot, but at the same time, it's not. I'm saying six to seven hundred dollars. Yeah, but I had a doubt. I think they're going to the PS win the PS4 PS4 rule and you know put a price that it's affordable. I don't know. What no, they they, they have to it? they have to make it expensive to make a. To make a native 4K machine, they have to make it like seven hundred dollars for to make a profit on it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll hear more about it next year. And they had this. Then we had the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is gonna be. It's gonna be it's like, we oh look, the, we, well, can, you, can, you can take it on a go. You can take it on a go. Please buy it. I'll, I'm gonna say one more thing. The last time Nintendo was this desperate, we got the Wii. So, and but then, but then, out. yeah, it was really good because of the gimmick for it. So who knows? Maybe this might be the thing that saves Nintendo from itself. Maybe. I'm going to say maybe. I'm going to say that's a big maybe. That's the only thing you can say. It depends it. on third party support. Third party support's going to make or break it. And it they have a lot of third party support. Yeah, like I know. It. And you know who's, wait, you know who's been praising Nintendo Switch more? EA actually has been really productive about it. Okay. Uh, so, but yeah, it's gotten a lot of third party support now. But you know what? But the Wii also got that same treatment. The Wii U also got the same treatment. See, it's easy for Nintendo to get third parties at first, but then they all leave after the first year. 
So the real challenge is, like, a, two years down the road, who's going to still be making games for it? It's... Who knows, like, really? It's, like, it's going to be that type of thing. Who, a type of thing of... If he doesn't PlayStation see... Vita. Activision released, like, w Call of Duty on it, and even that couldn't sell the Vita. Uh, uh, that was a though. Yeah, you know what the funny was, ass thing about that was? That was the worst like the one. Funniest... But the point is, the point is, third parties don't want to work on hardware that doesn't sell. So somebody has to budge. I don't know. It could have sold if the game was good. I mean, they asked for the guy, the same guys who made the uh, resist resistance game for it too. And from what I hear, the studio sucked. And it's dead now. Yeah. They just hired the grown developers for it. So, do you want to talk about some of the things that they didn't show at this uh, PlayStation event, or...? They didn't show... They already said that they couldn't show God of War or Spider-Man, because they were not ready. Well, yeah, actually, Insomniac actually took the initiative on that. Sorry, guys, won't be, we won't be showing anything this year at... Uh, PlayStation experience. A lot of people are sad about that. Yeah. But they, but then eventually it was like, yeah, we we understand. We want to show on a, like a bigger stage, like E3, uh, biggest bigger biggest gaming stage in the world. But another one that was D from uh, Quantum Dream, which be the Detroit becoming human. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that game looks like oh, that game just looks like damn. Looks so shit. <laughs> uh, another one would be uh, Final Fantasy VII, which last year that they showed, <laughs> people, I think everyone lost their shit. That, like, every, that fucking, got, I think that alone made Sony win. It just, listen, it was Final Fantasy VII, and then, uh, was it this year that they showed it, or last year? Last year. Yeah, yeah, last year. And last year, they also at PlayStation Experience, they announced uh, 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 Shamu 3. Shamu no, 3. No, that, I Shamu. think that was also last year. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was, that was last year's PlayStation Experience. No, that was that. last year's E3. That was last year's E3? Yeah. Yes, no, last, last, last year's E3. Two years ago? No, I thought it was just last year's. I forgot, but yeah, it's, it's still not ready. It's still being. Yeah, Sony's been around. winning E3 a lot. Yeah, it's it's just like a lot of people like, but like in the long run, for for me, I'm just I can't. I've been playing a lot of Xbox because Cameron says, "Oh, play with me," and then he's like, "Then I was like, okay." So I was then I was like, "Oh, you're too low, low of a level. Level up." Now I'm level like 103, and he's and he's like, "Oh." But then now he's playing like, but he's playing a lot of uh, Modern Warfare Four, a uh, Four remastered. Cameron plays like three games. I want to try. I want to try Modern Warfare remastered, but I don't want to buy the the, the whole complete package just to get that one. I it's, it's... I want to play Modern Warfare remastered too, but I don't want to have to pay for Infinite Warfare. I don't want to have to pay for not Halo. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, that's another game I really, really want to get is uh, actually Halo uh, Remastered. The Halo Master Chief Collection. Master Chief Collection, I hear this. It's Matt, the, the single player. The single player works. The multiplayer doesn't. Multiplayer didn't work at launch. I mean, one multiplayer that works at launch. No, it still doesn't stuff. work. It still doesn't work today. Um, Does it still work? To, I thought they were fixed it over the last three uh, months. Let's see. I think Overwatch's multiplayer worked at launch. Yep, that's the one. And that's okay. Yeah, I think that's good. the. I think like every single rare there has there there's a rare, and that's probably the top of the list, like for number one for rarity. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Yeah. I think I think that's it for. Yeah, like we got Super Christmas. Yeah. And next month we're gonna have Super Christmas again with the Switch presentation. If it's any good. 
You know what? It has to be good. If it suck, if it sucks, Nintendo is doomed. And then we'll go to Sony. <laughs> See, lies on me with this one. They go over Sony. We try to press. Well, the thing is, most most of the people who pick up Nintendo consoles are PC gamers anyway, so maybe they'll just be PC only. That's stupid. If they go, if they ever go to PC. It's oh my god, <laughs> fucking rip. In fact, one of the categories for console of the year of our goatees. <laughs> PS4. What the yeah? Uh, what, what, uh, are, what are the categories? Is console of the year? Sorry, uh, PC it technically isn't a console, so so you don't put, put PC. In. Whoever does, you're just a dick. I mean, you could you can put that down, but it's not going to count because. And I actually, as a PlayStation fanboy, I am. I put just because of what they're just doing in general. This past. This past year or so, they've been really just on top of it. With the, the funny part about like this whole time, you know, the like PlayStation Now, they just added, uh, they just added, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Red Dead Redemption. Are the prices any better? I have uh, I have no yeah, idea. No, Probably not. Now is still shit. The game that they need to show for another Switch has got to be Red Dead Redemption, but I don't see that. Yeah, they, they added they I, added Red Dead Redemption. It's so it's not unprecedented so, for Rockstar to put games on Nintendo platforms. They put Bully on the Wii. They put Manhunt Two on the Wii. They had that one GTA game for the DS. So it's not like this would be unprecedented. Ooh, shit. Yeah, but remember that they were that it's gonna have Don't a little. Wrong, it's still a long shot, but I wouldn't like it. It's highly unlikely, but I also wouldn't be surprised because Take Two, which owns Rockstar, is basically supporting the Switch. Yeah, for, for what game? It, that that is the question. When Minecraft Three. Kill people on the switch. You know, I guys, I just recognized something what? throughout this whole entire, uh, through, throughout this last what was it, about maybe two years or so. We haven't heard anything. I mean, anything from uh, sucker punch. Oh, yeah, sucker punch. Yeah, what the fuck are they doing? Isn't they working on something? You know what? Who knows? As much as, as much as I think, as much as all of us would love to make, have them do another Sly Cooper, I want them to do a new IP, honestly. Yeah, but they're making a new IP, bro. They haven't shown nothing of it. I mean, it's been, like, already... It's been about two years since oh, yeah. they haven't last, even really the announced. the last thing, last time we heard from them was, Di was Last Light, Infamous. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was, it was that D oh yeah, it was DC. It was the uh, DLC for it, and that and that was pretty much the last time we ever really officially heard. I was like, oh look, there's something. So I don't know what the hell's taking them so long to to announce it after. Maybe it's gonna be like a Bloodborne type of title. Now, this is what I mean. Not like the type type of game type of title. As in, they go to announce it, like, and it comes out the next couple months after. Because when they first announced Bloodborne at the very first uh, PlayStation Experience, it came out like no, they first announced it at E3, and then they explained more at uh, PlayStation Experience, and then it came out like the following four months after. Like the time for it to, so I didn't have time for the game to get hyped enough, like, to, for the game to be hyped. And I think that was part of the almost problem for... Wait, was it Bloodborne successful? Yeah, it yeah. was. It's like the one game that people bought a PS4 for. Yeah, I think that's the reason it was so successful, because there was not hype behind it. It was... The type of game was like, oh, this, com this game's coming out in February. Okay, people enjoy it. Well, no, the mm -hmm. hype that came about it was because it was coming from the people who made Dark Souls. Yeah, the, uh, it was they, hype, but it wasn't like No Man's Sky hype. No Man's Sky hype uh, uh, because it because it festered too long. Because let's see, what was the hype behind that? Four years? 
when they first showed it and they went until the game came out? I think it was like yeah. two or three years. Three it, was, years. It, was, it was a long ass time for, in the gaming world. Yeah, and, then, and I think that's the problem with so like games, like or movies in general. I think like, I think the expectation was that people didn't get the message right about No Man's Sky. That's, from... one of, that's one of my favorite jokes about Square Enix. Square Enix shows us like this game was. Oh, this game looks awesome. Glad you like it. When does it come out? Four thousand years. Four. four... Four thousand years from tomorrow. <laughs> Four thousand years in the next thousand years. No. So good luck. And that's just I, might the beta. I might take a I might take a The beta is coming out in a thousand years, but after the beta, you have to wait for to come out. Oh my God, it's. And they're still working on Kingdom Hearts three. The, they're working on two point five. And then to, after 2.5, it's... Actually, they're working on... The, the new Kingdom Hearts coming out this month. Oh, um, Death Stranding... Uh, uh, Death Stranding just had a panel at PlayStation 4, so I'm going to watch that later. Square Enix is starting to turn into Valve where they can't count to three. They come close, but they can't. <laughs> they're at 2.8 right now. They can get the word out three because they said the word uh, three before. Hey, hey... They, uh, what's the one looking for? They, they, uh, they reveal what engine Kojima is gonna use. What? For the, the Decima engine. Yeah, it was, it was hilarious because they talk like, the Death Stranding's gonna have, and it's like, oh, we're not gonna use this, like, this cert engine. People were like, uh, we don't know what engine that is, but okay. It's like, we all know, like, like, the Unreal Engine 4 and the like that, but they named the engine like the that the uh, yes, oh, yeah, Sun yeah. used, and they was like, no, we're, we're not using that engine. And people were like, we don't care about the engine, we just want the game. It's just like, for some reason, <laughs> they do this what? weird shit. What? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Boy, what happened? Just this. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> we them <done>, boys. <laughs> I mean, it's, it took me a little while to get out. I was like, wait a minute. Is that Luke? And is that... Wait, really? I'm putting it on screen now. Wait, 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 I got your better one. Hold on. I signed it. No. Uh, actually, this one's pretty good, too. <laughs> Holy crap. We have now devolved into shit posting. <laughs> Silent Hill. This is actually the same picture, but with Silent Hill. Uh. Yeah, you see, have you seen see, see Stranger, Stranger Things? No, I haven't seen it yet, oh. and I, I I know I should because I have Netflix. God, let me I just it. I haven't just got into it yet. <laughs> this one is the best. <laughs> is that one the best? <laughs> 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 okay, that's that's the best one. I'm showing that. I'm showing, I'm showing that. Hello, boys. I just like we're about to die. Hello, boys. <laughs> we dem boys. Uh, Can you review any new gameplay that's stranding? Nope. Uh, just trailer. Same guy. I approve of this meme. Thank you, Lion. It was like it was a Kotaku shop, Shibosh Photoshop contest. Oh my God, Photoshop contests are the best. We're, we're going way off topic, so I think we'll end it here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what was, so what was your what was your favorite game that they showed that you think you're the most hyped for? The Last of Us. Last of Us. Oh yeah, and Ace Combat. Ace Combat Seven.
What about you, Jay? Yeah. Um, for me, I have to say I never played a, Yuk- a Yukaza game before, so I'm kind of playing. I'm pretty excited to play six. Probably gonna be lost as fuck because I'm the sixth uh, installment. But I want, I want, I want to play something like I want to play something like that. I really do. Me, my hype is kind of split amongst a few t- different things. Like I have a little bit of hype for Wipeout. I have a little bit of hype for the Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, I want to see how two and three look before I get too far. Uh, I'm excited for Wipeouts because I'm finally going to be able to record that on Neon Cabaret. Let's see what... Uh, Persona 5 I'm hyped for. Gravity Rush 2 I'm hyped for. Horizon I'm hyped had... for. Maybe you just had to pick one. I know. I, I think all of us have a cup. Like, in, like have, if I had uh, to have pick a... one, Persona 5. Persona 5? Okay. Like... Cameron wrote that off as weeb shit, but he's never played Persona. And uh, first of all, what does Cameron know about games? He's only, he only plays three. <laughs> he plays Grand Theft Auto, uh, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. <laughs> no, and then he also then he also plays movies. That's the only thing he does on his Xbox too. That's all. That's the three things he plays: Call of Duty, yeah, when GTA, it comes to games, and movies. He's a basic bitch. Oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, oh yeah, about that. I'm super glad they bring Twana in it. Yay! I mean, this girl. Yeah. I, Yay. I, 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 Yeah, I really want to see how two and three look. Where's Coco though? Uh, Coco, Coco you don't know. Didn't co- I... I think Coco came in the second one. Yeah, she yeah, came in the but... second one. So we don't know. What, we don't know what her boobs look like just yet. So calm down. I don't think she even has boobs. Oh yeah, that's right. She's flat as a board. Huh. I think she's. I, how the... I think she's Crash's younger sister. But. But we can all we can all just hope and <laughs> right, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna stop right there. She is Crash's sister, Coco. I mean, she came out of nowhere. She 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 came out of nowhere. She came out of bat like a bat of hell. I'm glad I got I'm glad they were about Twilight, though. Was that she looked, she was too sexual. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna keep that to myself. Jeez. Screw you, boy. Alright, I think uh, we should sign off. I think we're done for today. Yeah, I, I think we. Like, if we go any farther, we're gonna devolve into shit posting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we already did shit posting, so. I think yes, we're. I, I think we've run. I think we've run this discussion into the ground as much as possible. We even talked about Nintendo and Xbox, so yes. <laughs> I think we're covering all of our bases for today. Yeah. Hey guys, need to play, need to, have we need to play about the PC Master Race yet? Uh, you mean the pay- PC Fake Race? Yeah, sure. I need to play Shut the demo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all right, Lion, we gotta sign off. You can start. Alright. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm was Dedward Sly Alliance here. I've been real just shake. And I am the American Slacker leader of the glorious PC Master Race. <laughs> Good night, you and partners. your you, <laughs> you and your <laughs> I'm just gonna never mind.